Wizards Code here. We're going to take a look today at some assets from Malba's Animations. Claims to be the best assets on the store, or best animals on the store, I should say. Uh, well, let's take a look. Let's have a look. Um, I've previously done a review of the Horse Anim Set Pro. Uh, I like that quite a bit. Today, what we're going to look at is these next two here. So, Animal Controller, we're going to use that on Unka the Dragon. I'm also going to be looking at some Oli VR assets, in particular this Seascape asset, which creates cities. So we're going to fly a dragon around a city, and it's going to look something like what you're looking at right now. So, let's get started. Let's open up Unity. I've imported everything that I need and then some other things that I'm going to play around with at some other time. Um, to get started, let's open up Melba's Animations. And we'll go into dragons. I actually have two of his dragons installed at the moment. Elemental dragon and Unka. We're going to look at Unka first. Well, only Unka today. Uh, let's have a look at Unka base demo. Let's put this into play mode and take a look at these dragons. So Malba's animations really focuses on the animations, as you would imagine from the name. And indeed, the animations are a lot better. I find them a lot better on his assets than on many of the other assets and his models are also pretty good as you can see now the interesting thing is this is just one model uh, it's got lots of blend shapes on it and we'll have a look at that in a little while to see what they look like but it's a little boring just looking at these guys play through their animations so what else can we do well, if you own the motion controller, which I do, you can go into this Unka animal controller and open up this compressed file here. And in here, you've got a whole load of demos and things. So let's extract those. And we're going to put them into this same folder. And now we've got all of these new things. And if we go into the demos folder here, uh, you have a whole new load of scenes. Uh, now, I do have the animal controller installed as well, as you can see here. And we're not going to look at the demo scenes from that. We're just going to go straight into the demo scenes with Unka the Dragon. Now, there are a few things that you need to do when you get to, uh, into this to start with. Let's go into the demo scene. And you can see up here it says for flying creatures, you've got to put the up and down input in there. Now, this is really easy to do. What you do is select one of your flying characters and down here on the Malba's input script, there is a button and you can click create. So let's hit play and have a look at our dragon. Okay, horrible footstep sounds, but it's there for an illustration of what you would do. Nice little jump. Not sure where he's looking off to the left there uh, what he was looking at okay and then we can run and we can fly spacebar to go up and we can do rolls like that and fly downwards, hover, it's all pretty good. Um, now, how do I breathe a fireball? I'm not breathing fireball, oh there we go. So we've got some targets over here, can I? doesn't fire the fireball every time. That's a bit weird. There we go. Okay. And then shift for fire breath. Okay. Uh, let's go and have a look at him swimming. C to go down. And uh, nice swimming underwater. Is he going to come up? I think he was on the bottom water. So nice, uh, a nice 
swimming motion there and flying out so what's going to happen over here death zone let's have a look at a death how do i get onto the ground oh it's not a very gentle landing and he's dead okay now uh, what we got here raw okay no sound on the raw there sleep you go on these things and you press E for the action there. So notice when he's sleeping here, the, the breath movement that you get. It's really pretty good. Um, often when you would have an animation like this, it would be fairly static. A bit slow to get up there, but that's okay, I guess. Can we jump up there? Yep. And can we jump up this one? Yep. All right, so there we go. That looks pretty good. Let's drop out of this scene and let's have a look at the blend shapes. So let's just move this camera in a little. So we have uh, a rear view and a front view here. And if I go down to Unka, I can... Here they are. Uh, I can change the thickness of the legs, for example. That's the rear legs. Okay, and I can go, let's play with the head. Let's go in nice and close. And look at the head. Where's the head? You've got three different blend shapes on the head. So that one's changing the jaw shapes. And this one is making it more pointy. And this one, thicker. So here you see you have a lot of control over the dragon so you are buying one asset but you're getting lots and lots of different uh, dragons that you can choose uh, and then you can change the material as well so i can click here and change the skin material and the wing material and also the eyes So huge amounts of variety that you've got here. Uh, lots of things that you can do. But what else can we do? Well, I want to have this fella flying around in an interesting looking scene. So let's take a very quick look at Seascape. Um, so let's go into our scenes folder. And I have a new scene here just ready to go. Nothing in it at all. So let's go now to, let me see if I can remember how to do this. Go to Seascape, uh, Create Mega City. So now I have this uh, object called the City Seascape City. And at the moment there is no city there. Over here, I can create my city. So let's go down here. Let's click Generate City. Takes a little while to do this. And there we have a city, just like that. Let's fly in. And you can see there's nothing down here on the floor yet. But we have a city with a river through the middle here. And we can do some interesting things like generate streets. So now, if I fly down here, you can see there is a street material. And now I can go in and say, give me some light poles. And now I have light poles. Let's just make this a bit bigger. And go, okay, give me some bus stops. Uh, we don't see any here. Oh, there's one. There's a bus stop just there. And how about some trees? Okay. It doesn't create hasn't created a lot of trees but there are trees in here somewhere let's expand this out um bus stops foliage there's the foliage or some foliage there you go you see now obviously this is all procedurally generated and so i can uh i can do all sorts of things here oh i haven't added this 
street lights. There we go. Uh, I can configure this in many ways. So I can go in, I've got lots of random settings that I can change. I can change the size of the city. I can have the uh, the heights getting lower as it moves out. I can have a river or not have a river. I can move the river uh, and put it in different places. All sorts of flexibility, but that's not all. If I now go and look from up here and go into my scene here, go to my camera, my light rather, and rotate it so that I'm simulating nightfall. As night starts to come in, watch what happens. Lights come on in the city. Street lights, building lights, and all sorts of loveliness. There you go. So, we have our city. Where's our dragon? Well, let's start with our dragon on a nice tall building. Let's say this one. Let's make it daytime. And so we're going to need our dragon. Well, we can get our dragon from in here. Presumably, yep. Realistic fat. No, Unka realistic. Drag him in. Okay. And we have the same blend shapes and everything that we had before. We could change things around if we wanted to. But we now have our dragon. So let's hit play. Oh. I need to turn off that camera. Oh. Okay, how do I do the camera? Not sure. So we will open the additive scene and look at what's happening with the camera here. Okay, has a free look, look script on it. Okay, I'm guessing that I can just drag that in, turn off that camera, unload this scene. Okay, that doesn't look right. Target, there we go. Drop the target in. Hit play. There we go. Oh dear. That doesn't look so good. What's going on there? Hmm. Okay, so he's all right flying. I suspect that what we have is a problem with the um uh the, the layers for the buildings. Uh, doesn't it look good? Okay, so the camera is uh, isn't rendering far enough in the distance, so let's fix that. Uh, free look camera. There it is. And we want the far clipping plane. Let's put it up to about 5,000. Okay. Uh, let's just put the camera up here, see if that looks right. And select the camera, hit Control shift f There we go. Now we can see all the way to the edge. And let's also see if we can figure out what's going on with the uh, hit layers mixed. Default water, animal, enemy, and item. So what is the surface here? It is not on any layer at all. That's interesting. Let's just try putting that one on default and hit play. There we go. All right. Uh. Oh, it just fell. Okay. I was just falling there. I wasn't actually flying. Okay, we've got some flickering on the river there, clipping the building. So, I'm not sure what that flickering is. 
but I haven't done anything with the uh, lighting or the post processing or anything. This is just quickly generating the uh, the scene. I'll have a look at that in a moment. But there we go. Let's make it night time. So there we have it. Unka the dragon. Seascape. And Malber's control. Excellent stuff. Click the links below and you'll find where the assets are there to be able to reproduce this yourself very quickly, very easily as you saw. Click the like, click the subscribe button, share and tell me what you would like to see in the future. Alright, bye bye.